He doesn't. In like fact, it. I was just about to go outside and stick my face in mulch. But I also could not find pants. That's way too much. Caution coming into the room. It's critical. It goes under the right thigh. It's because most turkeys are right-handed. So. <laughs> oh, crew! I got that brick on video, dude. What? It was a great one. It really was. I'm sorry I'm crying so much. It was a great thing. It was an awesome Thanksgiving. Hello and good morning everyone. Welcome back and happy Thanksgiving to all of you. We're so grateful that you're here with us. We are starting out this beautiful holiday, getting ready, cooking all the things in the kitchen. I've got the turkey in the oven. My dad helped me. No, actually, you know what? My dad prepped it for me last night. Put it in the oven this morning. Already made a couple of things. We are getting this holiday started off right. We tried to sleep in and as much as we wanted to and we tried to. The amazing landscapers were out there working so early. We're so happy that they're getting it done. I feel really, really bad that they are working on things Thanksgiving, but I think that they really wanted to get this yard finished up by this weekend So they have been crushing it. They're just watering down everything cleaning everything off So I think that they're almost done. We are so 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 thankful for all that they've done Kids are just hanging out here at the house it's taking a nice slow easy morning I have already got all the rolls sitting here just did classic Rhodes rolls in a muffin tin They're our favorite way my mom's done it like that ever since I was a kid We are having those and I've got all the food set back here that I'm going to be making here in just a little bit about to make stuffing I need to set the table my parents and my brother and my brother in-law Sean are going to be joining us today, which works out perfect. We have a place setting for 10 here and that's how many people we're going to be having for Thanksgiving dinner. So couldn't be more excited. I think I'm going to start setting that table. Hold on. Maddie's calling. I got your absolute first one ever on video. Dude, it's sunny out here. It is nice. You could probably come out and do some pickleball or basketball. We just had the opportunity to talk to Maddie, which was spectacular because they do not celebrate Thanksgiving in the Dominican Republic, but oftentimes the presidents of the mission, mission presidents, that's who's kind of over all of the missionaries in the area, will allow the American missionaries to call home on Thanksgiving as a special added bonus, which is really cool because what can you be more grateful for than your daughter out serving others on this day? So here in the home though, mom getting ready to serve up some serious stuffing. This is like an all day recipe like this it's one of those is like the most involved recipe that can't I take your eye off the ball for a second kind of things there's just so many fresh herbs in it Brandon says it tastes like a garden it I does love it. he doesn't in like fact it. I was just about to go outside and stick my face in mulch and get the same vibe actually <laughs> just I kidding think me and Ryler are the only ones that really Ryler like this. gets pumped for it so I that's know and this nice. is funny my dad loves stovetop so I actually make <laughs> stovetop and this and this this is like one of my favorites I look forward to it all year I long. think it feels fun on Thanksgiving to be here preparing a lengthy something you know, I like know. I just, it's part of the experience, I think. It really is. And we got two ovens going over here, Mom. We got a turkey in one. What's for the bottom? What's going on um, there? I'm going to put rolls and stuffing in there. Wendy, first and meal you're cooking yams. in your new kitchen is Thanksgiving feast. That's I know. Kind, kind of a of big deal. Starting off really <laughs> with a bang. You won't I mean, cook a bigger meal than this. I look this. forward to mac and cheese. You won't cook a bigger meal than this until next year. Maybe Christmas. Maybe Christmas. That's true. Who knows? Who knows? We don't usually go too crazy for Christmas. But yeah. But maybe we will. Maybe we'll go full blown. We could smoke some brisket out there on the Traeger, that, that could be a good Christmas fun. dinner. I think we actually have a brisket in the That could be kind of fun. Speaking of smoking stuff outside, well, that sounds weird, but <laughs> just doing things outside. We gotta go show you what's going on out there right now. I'm gonna take a quick trip here through the backyard, show you some of the progress going on back here as we wait for family to arrive. I think they're actually getting here in the next maybe 15 minutes to start cooking up their Thanksgiving dishes, but we've got the fireball in, some really cool shiny black rocks. This is what they were doing yesterday, is putting these pebbles, sick crocs, I know, in between each one of these steps. I'm gonna talk to them about rounding off and sanding off these edges on these steps, because I can just see some sliced shins as you head up here, especially when it's all wet. Here's something kind of cool, guys. We haven't seen this since we did it. They're up here washing off the cement when the dust flies, but you can see our handprints, Maddie's heart right there. In the cement, which is pretty cool. Come across here and walk down this. I mean, there's just so many fun pathways, so much landscaping. Wait, right guy, I got stuck. Oh, I go down and then over, right? I'm trying to remember all the access points here, but they are putting the stone onto the sides here and it's gonna go everywhere. It goes up the back side of the pool where the water slide pops out. And I didn't realize it, but it's gonna go right there on those ledges too. So they're doing that. I think they, oh, look, they've started it down here already. It's gonna be nice and surrounded across this pathway. Wow, I love it. I just love it. You've got grass all throughout. The latest installation, the latest addition. I'm gonna go show you guys right now. I'm gonna do it by way of sport court. So we come across here. Fun 
fun little paver entry and we will do a full backyard reveal tour but I really just to be totally honest we'll probably wait until the water slides in because I want to have everything put in and intact that's not gonna be until the spring so you have to hang in there but we'll do little ones like this on an office things get finished but sport court out here put that net up right there for some pickleball later also the lights aren't hooked up yet they're there they're amazing they're bright but the electrical components that will actually turn them on have not arrived a couple things like that waiting on dude this wall is actually pretty trippy right here but here's what we're out here for just finished putting in the trampoline dude it's kind of almost more of a square than a rectangle huh it's only like slightly it's rectangular rectangle, but yeah. I like though because that means it's even wider Dude, these are the first ever backflips back here. This is the grass around it, and I didn't realize there'd be mulching on the edges, but I think it makes sense because it's got rocks on either side and some trees. Trying to get used to it, see what we think about it here. Wanted this full section of grass. We're throwing the football, doing fun things like that. And of course, the big rock over there in the corner is gonna have the Bingham family on it. That's where the backyard stands for today. Uncle Sean's coming over, getting his first tour of the house. Mom's family's coming over to have some Thanksgiving dinner with us. We're just gonna chill, get ready to host our first ever Thanksgiving in our new home. malfunction with now. You want to tell her about it? Is it I working or no? I don't think the top one's working. So <laughs> oh uh, the bottom one keeps locking, which New I'm sure problems. is a function that is meant for It's like a safety something. feature, I'm sure. But at one point, we had all of the food held hostage. It was held prisoner in the bottom <laughs> oven. We could not get it open. The only way we got it open is we turned it into self-cleaning and then turned it off. Brandon, we have found when I was packing. Hold on, this is a hand. This isn't a tricky mini. Did you know I that? Know, I know. Okay. <laughs> I was packing. I found all the things we would need for <gasps> Thanksgiving day and put them in one box, including our so, little turkey platter. That is actually more helpful than you might imagine because you guys, I still have not found a pair of socks because I have so many boxes in the garage that I haven't unpacked. Couldn't what find we're pants. Coming down to is you probably need new socks. I can only have four pairs to begin with, so I can't find any of those four. But I also could not find pants for the first like two or three days. <laughs> Till midnight, I was like, it you know was what? awkward. No one's here, and I'm in my office alone, so I guess <laughs> that's way too much. Caution coming into the room here. <laughs> Anyways, couldn't find pants for a while. I obviously was able to round those up because we do have family over today. But it is time to cut the ceremonial Should first slice in? in our new home. Flipping a lot of breakers down there, trying to figure out what the other. <laughs> <laughs> How's everything else going? We got everything potatoes going. Great. We've got butter. We've got gravy. My mom made her homemade gravy. Oh, we got so mac good. And cheese. We got mac pasta, and cheese. I see. We got some salad. Yam somewhere. We got rolls oh, there, over there. Yeah. We got some pies. That's on the downstairs fridge. So that's coming up later, right? Yes. We got some pies. Right. And my mom made cookies for us. Started out, you guys, with a delicious charcuterie that was sitting right here, and we devoured that thing. We've got some delicious rolls over there. They're butt rolls, is what we call them. We put two together. <laughs> <laughs> and then I had to butter them. <laughs> butter in those butt rolls. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna cut this turkey. Fork? Yeah. Here we go. Ooh. My first turkey, my dad prepped for me. Oh, I thought I was your first Well, you turkey. are the turkey. Do you even know what to do? Oh, yeah, so here's what you wanna do. You wanna tuck the bag just under the right thigh. It's critical, it goes under the right thigh. The left is typically a little underworked just because most turkeys are right-handed, so. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Unless you're my brother. <laughs> yeah, that's one turkey that is left-handed. <laughs> this turkey. That turkey is left-handed. <laughs> this, I am excited for. Is it on? I don't know. <laughs> oh! <laughs> 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 Do you do this? Oh, now this is a knife. That looks good. Look at that. I want to yeah. eat it. Oh, look at the that. first You excited? I want to eat it now. First slice of Thanksgiving. I hope it's not dry. You know what? That's what your mom's grave is for. <laughs> Is it good? Perfect. Woo! Oh. Do you want to know why? Cause it's because you did it. <laughs> that looks good. We have turkey. Guys, this is an official honey baked ham. Chase it down in the street and get run over by a semi. <laughs> Sweet potatoes, homemade gravy. My brother made these green beans, which look amazing. Mac and cheese, my mom said the kids would love it. Pasta salad and frog eye salad and the very famous butt rolls. Because <laughs> they have two cheeks. Crew's not here, but I did remember. I hid the mashed potatoes in the microwave. More. Maybe do one more scoop. You never have too much trouble with eyes. Yeah. Right, that's good. There you go. Grab your plate. Head on over. Kids are working their way around like a buffet. Hey guys, Hello. remind you of Golden Crown at all? Oh, yeah. Except not as good a food. Not as good a food. Oh, 
crew, I got that brick on video, dude. Okay. Get this brick. Yeah. Got it. Keep trying to like do it perfect. Be like, and that's what I call the Bingham Swisher. <laughs> oh, first try. First. <laughs> So the festivities are winding down upstairs. We have cleaned up the Thanksgiving feast. We've had our pie and we thought it would be fun to finish off the night, to finish off Thanksgiving as we move towards Christmas. A little Christmas movie now in the past, Mindy's family's tradition is to put up their Christmas tree immediately following the Thanksgiving dinner. So we would clean up dinner, turn on a Christmas movie and put up the tree. Well, here at our home, we wanted to establish what does baseline look like? Like what does it look like when the home is just like unpacked, stuff's put away and then let's go for putting up Christmas. So we're gonna stall probably till 1st of December. I can get Mindy to hold out before we decorate for for Christmas, which we are very, very excited to do. But that doesn't mean we can't have a fun tradition of kicking things off with a Christmas movie. So we happen to have the Grinch, animated Grinch, to watch here in the Bingham Theater. We're bringing everybody down. We've got crew in here already. we got Hazy down here. Wait, Hazy, where are you? <laughs> He's in between crash pads down there. We're gonna fill up these seats, we're gonna lay down here on the crash pads, and we're gonna watch the Grinch. Thankful for a very successful Thanksgiving family feast. Dude. <laughs> I didn't think I'd use the crash pads that much, but it's pretty yeah, fun just chilling here. <laughs> we got all those seats back there, and we're laying on the floor. <laughs> I love it. Thanksgiving has come to a successful close. I think it's been a pretty special day hosting here in our home. Making the first meal. It was really nice being able to host family here. It's a beautiful home. It was very exciting. Bring Mindy's family over and Uncle Sean came to join us. That was so fun. Uh, right now, currently, Bingham family is spread throughout the world. Not even the United States, throughout the I world. Know. I think literally just us and Sean were the only ones even in this state. Yeah. Check out all their channels. Everybody's got a channel. They're all vlogging their experiences on Thanksgiving. This one, as we mentioned, happened to be a significant Thanksgiving because it is the one year anniversary from the passing of my dad. If you did didn't know, if you haven't been here, it was a pretty sudden, unexpected event that happened on the 24th. We here, and this is how we've been on our channel, we kind of pride ourselves in never missing a day or an upload and never missing the noon time of upload. And if you search through the archives and history of the This Is How We Bingham channel, you will find one day and one day only where no video posted. That was intentional. That was on the 24th as the day grew on that morning and we realized that it probably was going to be that day. I actually had a video ready to upload and it was scheduled to upload, but it just did not feel appropriate to act like nothing was going on, act like it was business as usual. So I pulled that down before it could post and that remained kind of a sacred opening. The irony is that he passed right around the noon hour. So that's when we typically post every day. Today, to remember that, to commemorate that, where everyone was anywhere in the world, wherever they were, whatever they were doing at noon, we all knelt in prayer, and just gave thanks for the life that Papa lived, for the amazing man that he was, for the example he that he incredible. left. Also prayed for my mom that she will be able mm. to find peace in this next phase of life, this next part of life's journey. She is right now, I'll let you go over to Dan and Shell's channel, but she is in Finland traveling the world with Dan and Shell. Which is uh, incredible. Perfect place to be. Short version of the story. You really got to go get the details over there. But my dad served a mission in Finland. They had always hoped to serve in the temple in Helsinki, Finland. And so to commemorate the anniversary of his passing, she actually was in the temple where he served as a missionary where they had hoped to serve together as a couple and just doing temple service on that day. Very tender. This one right here. <laughs> It's always one of us. Today, as we reflected, posted about this on Instagram, a little bit of a repeat if you saw it there, but today we were really grateful that it was Thanksgiving because your hearts are kind of drawn towards gratitude. You're your focused on the things you're full. thankful for. Yeah, you're surrounded by family usually. And so it just seemed like the very perfect way to honor my dad because his number one priority in life was his family. 100%. And it, nothing came before that. Work was never more important. Social status, friends of any kind. We were his everything. We were his whole world. The other thing is we were just focusing on how grateful we are for him paying this path for us to follow. A lot of times you turn to your father for advice and now that he's not physically here, not able to call or text and, and get advice from him, I can look to his life and go, what would my dad have done? How would he have handled the situation? I can reflect yeah. back on what he did to raise me and the father he was to me and I almost will always find an answer to any question I have by just going, how would dad have done this? What, right. what would he have done? A lot of focus on gratitude today, a lot of focus on family. I even had an opportunity because my dad loves and was crazy about and obsessed with views, just gorgeous views. He loved oh, a good sunset. He loved mountains 
mountain views. In fact, when he came here to our home, it was being dug, the foundation was being dug. He pointed out every single amazing view. He said, oh my gosh, you can see the lake, you can see the mountains, you can see the canyon. One of my most fondest birthday memories is when we did a little Park City getaway. I just thought I was just getting older and I was like, man, I just want my parents with me. It's kind of ironic because I was just thinking, I don't know how many more I'm gonna have with them. That's why I decided to do that. I just don't think it's gonna be that soon. Anyway, so he came out and I was like, all I wanna do, Dad, is just to sit on the deck, look at the view, just talk to you. So for my birthday, that's what we did. We are doing exactly <laughs> what I want to be doing on my birthday right now, sitting here on the porch, staring out at this beautiful view, and just talking about old times. Yeah, I love it. Dream love come it. true, you guys. So today I sat on the deck for our new home with an empty chair next to me. Just looked at the view. It was dark, so I couldn't get much of a view, but I knew <laughs> it was there. <laughs> and just uh, had a little soda with my pop. <laughs> anyway. Just trying to get through it before it got too ugly, but. <laughs> you choose right now. <laughs> Anyways, that's all I was saying about that. It was a special day, a special man. Our hearts really are full of gratitude. Got a lot of messages from a lot of people. Just checking in on to see how we're doing. So the same thing to everybody. So we're just grateful, super, super grateful. So <sighs> the plan was to kind of go through this part privately, but kind of yeah. sits right there on the surface sometimes. But today was special. And my dad was always the one who would say thank you, we love you. So as today we're full of thanks, full of love. We say thank you, we love you. Thanks for spending first Thanksgiving with us in this home. It was awesome. And, it was a great one. It really was. Um, I'm sorry I'm crying so much. It was a great Thanksgiving. It was an awesome Thanksgiving. Thank you for all the comments and messages thinking of us, our family today, and the whole being a family. We're so grateful for you. From us to you. Thank, thank you. you. We, we love, love you. you. We'll see you guys all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. Now it's a party, people. Now it's a party. On my birthday, I want to sit on the porch with my dad and just stare out at the view.